I need help to break some spiritual covenants. On the 17th of May this year, I went to the beach to have fun with a lady friend of mine. Normally, when we go like that, guys approach us, buy us drinks, and some even gives us a ride, and some even give us a ride home and date us in the long run. There are some we even sleep with on the same day because they happen to be nice and generous people. So that Friday, when we went, and just upon arrival, this half-caste guy approached us. Very handsome and tall with some person and attractive tattoos. He said he just got there too and wanted somewhere to sit and have a drink. We joined him and in the course of the drinking, he made it clear that he liked me. So after a while, we took a walk together, just him and I. He said he liked me and would love to date and marry me and take me with him to the U.S., where he and his family reside. According to him, he is a Ghanaian, he is a, a Ghanaian, but was born and has lived his whole life in the U.S., and it was actually his first time in Ghana, and I happened to be the prettiest lady he had seen so far. When... We were at the beach till around 11 p.m. My friend had even left me because she said she was feeling sleepy. I wanted to go too, but this guy seemed to have more to say and didn't want me to go. We eventually got to a point where we started kissing and caressing each other, and before I knew it, we had sex. Right after the sex, he said I could leave because it was late. It was weird, but he seemed worried for me because it was late. He assured me of us meeting the next day and gave me his contact to call when I reached home. I thought we were living together, but he said he wasn't leaving because he was staying at the beach. He was he wasn't leaving. He said he wasn't leaving because he was staying at a beach near the hotel and wanted to see more so I should go. We didn't use protection during the sex because I felt like he was okay and would accept anything, especially with how convincing he sounded. Since the night I got home till now, the number he gave me hasn't gone through. They keep saying does not exist. Not just that, I haven't slept. The moment I close my eyes, I find myself under the water and missed many people. I don't know. The moment I close my eyes, I find myself under water and missed many people I don't know. I appear to be pregnant under the water. And everyone keeps asking me to deliver their princess for them. I have checked and I am not pregnant. But I keep having pregnancy symptoms. nausea, vomiting, constipation, tender breast, and a whole lot. The one making me the most uncomfortable is me hearing voices around. I feel it in my head. But sometimes I hear people talking around me for real. I don't know if I sleep work now, but I can be asleep and the next thing I am walking somewhere else. I will think it's a dream, but I will walk back home and it's not even a dream. There is no day I don't find myself under the water with so many people surrounding me. I am scared. A pastor I went to see said he can't help me. He was real. Please, if anyone can help me, 
I will appreciate. Thanks. Let's help this young lady. In the comment section, what advice would you give her? Where or what should she do in order for her to be free from this spiritual torment? What is actually wrong with her is from the marine kingdom, okay? And she needs help on how to break that particular covenant that has bind her together. So, what do you think she can do? Leave your comment. Then, let's also think, uh, let's also think in this direction. Is it really a good thing for two people to meet the same day, like two opposite sex meet at the same day, talk to each other the same day, and have sex the same day? Is that, is that normal? Use the comment section. Let's see. If you are seeing me for the first time, do well to tap that follow button. And if you are watching this from the YouTube, do well to tap that subscribe button. I love you.